Hi, my name is Matthew Pomba. I'm here at the San Antonio Film Festival at the beautiful Palladium. I'm here with Bobby Henline, one of the stars of the new movie, Comedy Warriors. And Bobby, why don't you tell us a little bit about your film? And comedy Warriors, basically, it's a, it's a film about five wounded warriors that use comedy to heal. You know, we all know that comedy is the best medicine. You know, it really does heal. And what they did is they took the five of us wounded warriors, put us together with, with writers, professional writers, and A-list comedians, and they coached us on how to become comedians. They helped us with our writing. They critiqued us on our comedy. I mean, it's, it's really where we, we would stand in front of, like, say, Zach Galifianakis, Bob Saget, Lewis Black, B.J. Novak from The Office, and we would perform in front of them by themselves in an audience. It just, and so it's really, a, it's one, just doing stand-up by itself, but then to do it in front of somebody who's done it their whole life and made a career out of it, and you're supposed to make them laugh all by themselves, it, it can be kind of scary, but... Uh, we learned a lot through it, and all this really progressed and came uh, better at doing stand-up comedy and getting the message out there with this film about life, you know, how we can laugh at life. Nice, and so is this, is this the first film festival this, this has been at, or is it, I know you said it's, kind of, it's playing the circuits right now. Yeah, we got Comedy Warriors and uh, a lot of different film festivals we, you know, presented it to them. This is our second one. Our first one was Palm Beach. We won Best Documentary. We're hoping to win again. Uh, <laughs> there you go. See, make sure you turn in those cards. So yeah, it's. I mean, it, this is our second one. We we got we're on a short list of a lot of other film festivals. We're hoping to, uh, to get in those too, and we're we're talking to cable networks to try to get out on big distribution. Uh, so you know, it's just waiting for the next step. You know. That's awesome. So I mean, so this being your second film festival, what's it what's it been like? I mean, how's how's the San Antonio Film Festival been to you? Like it's. Uh, the San Antonio Film Festival was awesome. Uh, you know, I knew the film would do great here. It's military city. You know, I got a lot of following here from doing comedy here. On, you know, it's my, my hometown now for the last six years. And I had a lot of people come out to see the film. Uh, it's an inspiring film. You know, whether I was in it or not, I think it'd still be a good film. But uh, it's just, it's inspiring stories that these, these guys, you know, these warriors can go through this and hit bottom of life where you think you're dead, you know, and you lose friends, but you're able to come out and still laugh at it to get through things. And it's just, it's an amazing journey. And I, it's an inspiring film. And I can think it can help anybody no matter what they're going through in life. Uh, that's true. I mean, I, I had a chance to see the film. I was in there. I got to watch it. I got to, you know, hear the Q&A afterwards with the audience and the stuff you were talking about. And I know for me, like, just kind of some of my situations I've been in, I was just really inspirational to hear you talk about it. And I'd love to hear if you can just tell a little bit about how your positive outlook on life really, like, helped you get through this. And like you said, I mean, like, because you were doing this actually before Comedy Warriors came about. George, you said you were doing this about 18 months before. So, I mean, how did your, like, positive outlook on life really, like, keep you going and help you get through that? You could just share a little bit about that. Yeah, my, you know, I had my dark period, and then I went through a time where about a year out where I started thinking about the positive things in life. You know, we take for granted every day, whether it's to see our children play, whether it's to walk to the store, be in the sunshine, go to the beach, uh, you know, that stop and smell the roses. You know, those little, all things we take for granted today, you know, with technology the way it is. And I start seeing the, those things and the positive things of what I have to live for, or the, why it's great to be alive. And I shared that uh, with National Public Radio, and I saw on their website that people were inspired by the way I had a positive outlook still. Where they couldn't fathom going through something like this and being positive about it in the long terms. And I thought, wow, there's a sign from God that i got to share my story. If I share my story with others about the positive things we have in life and to stop and smell those roses and enjoy that, and I can help them make their life for the better. You know, say someone's doubting themselves. They want to quit smoking or they want to go to the gym and lose weight, but they don't think they can do it. Mm -hmm. And then they see some crazy guy like me mm -hmm. telling jokes or sharing my story, be, thinking about the positive things or reminding them how great life is. And then if I can get through this, then you can get through what you need to get through. And that everybody needs it. You know, positive thinking is huge. You hear about it all the time, these, these motivational speakers that talk about positive thinking. I'm, I'm one to have been through it and used positive thinking to get through what I have, you know, personally myself. And I'm here to tell you, it's possible. Positive thinking and being positive about life really makes a big difference. And I mean, I think, and I'll just kind of end with this last question. I know in the film, and I'm not giving too much away, but I know you kind of talk a little bit about how there's that survivor's guilt that you always hear about when, like, with people in the military and they had that survivor's guilt, like, why me? But you kind of turn that into something that goes into your positivity thinking, though. I mean, it wasn't just about oh, I'm just going to do this because I have this to live for. But you're also doing it not for your, the people that are still alive, but I mean, the, the fallen soldiers that are you left behind, right? Is that? Yeah, you know, we all go through the survivor's guilt. Um, you know, so many of us live uh, and so many of us we lose. I lost four of the guys in the Humvee. You know, I was the only survivor. And um, I found it now. That's the best revenge I can get. If I can go around and share my story through comedy or speaking, if I could help others, if I could help more people than that guy has hurt, that's the best revenge I can get for the guys 
who died for me and died for all of us for our freedom and gave that ultimate sacrifice. Yeah, well, definitely. Um, I mean, definitely, we all want to know how we can like best like you know keep pushing this and we helping like spread the word, not just here in San Antonio, but obviously help you like people get to other film festivals. I mean, so you you want to just drop the drop some uh, shout outs like where people can go, the website, yeah, Facebook. Definitely go go to comedywarriors.com, Comedy Warriors on Facebook, like it. Um, we can use donations to help get us into other film festivals. Um, it's all donated time. Everybody's donating their time for the film, so we can really use help doing that. You can go to bobbyhenline.com, see my website. There's links on there for the other websites also. And, uh, yeah, help out, support the troops. Yeah, and it's a San Antonio local local guy, so I know you're at Laugh Out Loud Comedy Club, you said, um, over there on uh, next to Animal Draft House. Yeah, I'll be at Laugh Out Loud usually on Tuesdays, to open mic, trying new stuff. I'll be in uh, Bracken, the Bracken Saloon, every Monday night, open mic. And then... Um, Coming up July 6th, uh, I'll be out at uh, JT Floors out in uh, Holotus for Human for Heroes. Oh, great, man. We'd love to. I mean, we definitely want to keep seeing more of the movie, keep seeing more of you live. So, you know, definitely check that out. Come to the come to the Laugh Out Loud Comedy Club floors and just uh, check out Bobby. See, see him, meet him. He's a great guy. I had a chance to really bond with this guy. So come out. Thanks for coming out, Bobby. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh -huh.